Hi everyone, Waxfrod here, and welcome back to episode 11 of the Hardcore Minecraft Let's Play series. We are in the underwater tunnel that I had built in the last long play. Now I've got my handy dandy furnace because I've got some sponges on stream. We actually, and by the way, it is twitch.tv slash waxfraud. Feel free to join us. I stream every single day there on Twitch. Um, oh man, there's actually a couple of trapdoors that I missed here as well, but underwater, that's where we are because uh, I, on stream, we did go get a couple of uh, uh, sponges from an ocean monument, but they only had one sponge room, so I didn't get as many sponges as I would have liked. So uh, now we're just sitting here with a bunch of water still, and I'm actually just not really doing anything because I need to go back in here and actually get rid of these source blocks first before I go back anywhere else. Anyways, my point is I need to go to another ocean monument because, uh, yeah, there's too much water here, and uh, the tunnel needs to go on, and I just need more sponges in general, so it's time to raid an ocean monument. And this thing is extremely long, like, it takes me at least a couple of rockets to get all the way past here. Now, as you can see, we do have uh, a little bit of an entrance issue, and the frog, the frog lights, uh, they look nice, but it's not gonna uh, hide the fact that we don't have an entrance. I've been getting in and out by going using my elytra through that little mini hole right there with the trapdoor, and popping myself out through here. So I'm gonna make a way to get in and out through the house, because I have it going right into the center of my living room there. What's up, B? Now, I have done this a handful of times, and already once on this world on a live stream, like I just mentioned, so we have a bunch of these potions already ready to go. We have the night vision potions, and we have the water breathing potions. I'm only going to bring four of each, because I, I don't think I'll need anything else. As long as I have my sword, I am good to go, and also, I'm going to make sure I grab a bunch of doors. Just, um, you know what, again, I'm going to have too many. I'm going to grab 23 mangrove doors, uh, in case I run out of water breathing, just in case I can't find the Elder Guardians in time. Uh, at least I have some doors to be able to breathe in. Off we go, though. I think I'm gonna go find one on this direction over this way. I know uh, a little towards spawn uh, from episode one. That's where we found the first one. I'm gonna go back towards the ice spikes area, or just the glaciers. Pretty sure there's a couple more ocean monuments that we had passed in episode one and episode two over here. Now, if I remember correctly, there was an ocean monument buried under the ice over here, so I just need to go down and find it. I see guardians. Oh, and there's the temple right there. Literally, oh god, it's just, I've landed way closer than I thought I did. So we're gonna have to find a way in. I'm gonna have to take off my elytra, put on, oh, there's guardians over here too. Oh, it's literally just right here. Like, I'm on top of it already. Oh, we have ourselves a lot of polar bears. So uh, if there's any baby polar bears over here, we have ourselves some danger above the ice as well as below the ice. I am gonna put on my chest plate though. No more elytra for right now. Let's, uh, I mean, let's just go night vision. Let's go water breathing. And uh, let's hop in. Okay, here goes nothing. I just gotta make sure I find the entrance, and I think I hopped in on the wrong side, so let's go under. And the entrance has been found. Oh my god, there are so many guardians. This is absolutely insane. I'm just weaving back and forth through every obstacle I can so I can get through here. Oh my god, that was so many. I'm gonna put a door here just because it does block, not for the breathing purposes, it just blocks those little attacks that they have. But it is time for me to go exploring. Let's, uh, let's go find some elder guardians and smack them down. Found our first sponge room, let's go. I'm gonna put a door here just in case I need to breathe later. Also, just to let myself know that I've been here already. And I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna get you booped. Booped, 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 and booped, and booped. Get booped. Number two, you've been found. Get gone, be gone, sorry sir. Bing, bang, boom, and bop, and bing, and bang. Can I hit this guy sticking through the wall? I cannot. And he's here, he's around the corner, and he's mad. He's around the corner and he's mad. Get over here, bud. I'm gonna give you a quick bing and a boom and a bop, and I'm gonna keep hiding behind the pillars. That's it, dude. That was all three of them. We got, yes, we just got all three. Now we just gotta wait for this mining fatigue to wear off, and then we can go back to the sponge rooms and grab all those. Also, get all these doors out. Maybe get some of these sea lanterns out. Also, actually, just kind of clearing out and draining an entire ocean monument. We're probably gonna probably gonna spend an entire stream doing that, cause uh, it's fun. It's fun to do. It's fun to get all this nice little prismarine, all the sea lanterns here. If I can go find those little uh, sponge rooms, that would be really nice. Mining fatigue is going away right now. Perfect. Let's grab the sponges. Yes. Okay. We are easily more than doubling our sponge count right now. And we did find another room earlier that I didn't show on recording. So I'm gonna have to go back and find that. Grab a, probably double up our, oh wait, damn, we have 35 wet sponges. We're probably gonna leave here with like 50. And I see a door, which means, yep, another sponge room. Let's go. Let's break all these out. And if you guys didn't know if you use hose on the sponges, it's like insta mine basically. It's kind of like using like the hoe on a hay bale or anything like that. Man, this is nice. We're gonna easily have- we have s more than a stack of sponges. Oh my god, this is- I don't think I've ever had that much. I'm honestly having kind of a hard time finding my way out of this. Like, I got in- this is a sponge room. Okay. Yeah, I'm all the way back at a sponge room now, so I might just- oh wait, never mind. I might be on my way out. Hold on. This might be it right, and we're in. We're out. We're in. This is great. I'm gonna go up and out as quick as I can. I gotta get away from these guys, because they are just going to try to keep on 
smacking me with their little attacks here. Okay, we made it out. We're safe and sound. What's up, Sam? And I'm gonna smack you because I got smacked. Okie dokie then. Elytra goes on and rockets are on too. Let's, uh, can we fly out of here? I think we can. Let's go right here and then... Let's go right here and then boom, we're off. Let's, uh, let's be gone. Actually, wait, I did get the lead. I brought the leads here for a reason and uh, I actually did forget. We have green frogs over here and I need to bring those green frogs back. And I didn't bring a boat, so I'm gonna have to go- Oh, a snow fox! That's awesome! I haven't collect- Oh, dude, I haven't run into any of these yet. I'm definitely gonna have to- Oh, he's sleeping. Okay. You can- you just sleep, bud. You just sleep. What I was gonna say is, uh, I didn't bring any wood to- or a, a boat in general, so I'm gonna have to make a boat real quick, put a chest in it, so that the frogs don't get stuck. I'm taking these guys home. Here we are! What's up, little frogs? How you doing? They actually might be tadpoles, because we haven't been here in a while- And they're still tadpoles! Okay, so I guess we just gotta wait for them to be frogs. I didn't realize until right now, but the night vision is wearing off, and it is so bright out here. It's gonna go away and like- yeah, literally right now. Okay, now I feel normal. And the water breathing was on still, too. I didn't even notice. It was just so incredibly bright there for a whole couple minutes. Oh, we have our first frog. I'll, uh, I'm will i going to take all the mangrove wood out as soon as these other tadpoles follow suit. Oh my god, hold on a second. One of these guys... I, how long is this? This guy might not even be from this batch. He might have actually just swam up here right now. Get over here, dude. Um, yeah, I've been watching these tadpoles pretty, like, pretty, pretty well. Like, I, I have not really been keeping them out of my sight. All, three of them in here are good to go now and the rest oh there's goes one now there's three left three more tadpoles that need to change and i i don't know what's going on i don't know how this guy escaped but he did there we go okay so we got one little guy in here and then i think one of them might have escaped when i wasn't yep he's up here i don't know how they do it but they just they spawn and then they hop immediately so let's uh get in the boat over here and let's fly away and how many frogs do we have behind us a lot we have a lot of frogs behind us this is awesome i love when this happens and we are finally back i can actually see some of these frogs hopping already they must be excited to see some of the new green friends we got a bunch of white frogs a bunch of orange frogs but we do not have any of the green frogs here yet let's actually just slap them up on can we slap them up right here let's do it okay we have we, we just have way too many frogs this is nuts okay i, I know what we're doing today we're doing a frog sanctuary. I'm pretty sure that actually is up on the goal board. We can go over and double check, but dude, we have so many frogs. We have to do a frog sanctuary. Let's see. It's probably right... Uh, yeah, it's the first one, actually. Okay, let's just get this done. Let's go back. I'm pretty sure we have well over 30 frogs right now. Like, this is... This is too many frogs. Arguably too many frogs. One could say we just... This is... Uh, I mean, yeah, this is... We, we don't need this many, but we have this many. This either calls for a big, big, big frog farm, which we kind of already have like a big, me like a medium-sized one, or in, uh, like a, fr a frog sanctuary, so I think we need to do that. We did that on episode two of the previous hardcore series, and uh, I'd actually- Oh my god, some of the frogs got loose. Okie dokie, let's get you, you, hold on a second, slap you up right here, and okay, so everybody should be good to go. I'm actually gonna get this over here. Oh my god, okay, so this guy got stuck in a boat, let's grab you slap you up right here as well okay oh my god oh my god all right we're gonna go bam there we go you see this is way too much trouble the frogs they need a sanctuary so that's what we're doing today first we are gonna go back down into the underwater tunnel though i actually want to sponge it up over here i'd like to get rid of all of the water and then go to i actually right here dig this out probably make a deep slate or stone area like a like a little underwater base um but i i don't know exactly how far the tunnel is going to go this way i just i know that i wanted to reach the island over here and i did now i just need to dry out all these sponges and take out this water this might prove to be a little difficult because we'll take it out and yep all of the sand is going to fall and the water in turn might start dropping in so we might have to use some trap doors or stuff to make it so the water doesn't come through but these trap doors can get waterlogged so that might not work as well as we think it's going to uh, and we're actually just going to start messing with the terrain up here this is not good. We might need to use some, like, sandstone on the edge, or just make the glass go in a little bit further, and then put the sand back on top. Being a little too impatient here to wait for all, like, stack and a half of these to go. I have 35, which is probably enough. Let's, uh, let's go in here. We can start boom, boom, boom. Let's take this water out over here, over, over here, over here. All the water is gonna be gone. Man, these sponges really put in a lot of work. This is awesome. Go boom, and then we'll go to the top over here, and we'll go boom, and then we'll go to the top, and we will go boom, and then go to the top and go boom. Looking good now that we have all of this taken out. It's ah, uh, now we can just kind of take all this stone out with e ooh, some iron. We can take all the, all of this stone with ease, and man, this is gonna this is gonna feel really nice. I think we're just gonna go back, probably about maybe eight, maybe nine blocks or so, and uh, then we'll probably build out the interior with most of these stone bricks and just a little bit of stone here and there, but uh, yes, this is this is gonna be nice. I'll take this iron here too. 
and decorate we did we put a lot we have the oak fences spruce fences dark oak fences we have cauldrons with the plants on them we get the ferns with the potted plants we are looking good here i didn't know exactly how much light i wanted and now that i'm actually looking through the uh, the lanterns i don't know if they might be too much of i also have not used end rods before so i came back down with the end rods i'm thinking maybe if i just take these out real quick the uh, the end rods might actually start to look okay but i hope you guys like this little entrance area that we made at uh i actually made this on stream i just didn't know i, I don't know i've never really made a like a tunnel entrance like decorated as much as like as this one but the end rods over here are definitely making it look a little bit better let's go ahead and put some right here put one right here as well i just want to see yeah that makes it just look it makes it look a little bit more dreamy yeah, this last one here is looking nice. It's like just mini, like one individual chandelier every time. I like this. It's pretty nice. Yeah, this place is looking nice and fancy. Let me know if you like this. If there's anything that you would change, let me know as well. But now we have a way to get all the way over to the other side. Also, if you go up the bubble column, you can run right up into the town. And I actually did not realize I needed to sleep. But we will get up here and boom, we have some frog lights up here. This is just to indicate uh, we're going to go into the frog light lit tunnel. And it looks pretty good from the outside as well. I mean, I tried to hide the fact that terraforming over here. But, uh, you know, I mean, it, I thought it, I thought it's looking all right. I'll probably bone meal up the top so it looks like it's overgrown a little bit. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think. But we're done. I'm putting everything away. And we have these sponges up here. I can put the sea lanterns up here as well. And I don't even have a spot for the furnaces yet. So all my furnaces can go up here. And I started putting a few things up here. And, yeah, this storage up at the very top of the attic that we did last episode is... Starting to get full. I'm going to put the rails away as well. Now, I did actually clear all of this whole area over here out on stream. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of... I'm thinking I'm going to take a couple more of these trees out. I'm going to land right on the tippy top over here. Because uh, I would like to make a frog sanctuary. And I want some of it to be over the water. I want to give the frogs a little bit of area to be swimming over here on the water. And I want to mix up some cobblestone with some large glass windows. So it's like a, not like a zoo exhibit necessarily, but so that, I don't know, I want the frogs to feel more free that they're like, so they can have part of the ocean. So I'm probably in a big, uh, big old square right here, probably going out this direction as well. So I'm gonna have to take out some of this shrubbery. Let's use the hoe. Let's take some of this out. I'll probably take out this big tree, a couple of these over here. And um, I think we might level this area out i'm not gonna lie I, I i don't want it to really i don't want the town to be taller than this area so i'm gonna keep flattening this area out right here i've done a lot of this live on twitch streams but uh i mean i don't mind doing a little bit more of this right now honestly i should have done more of this earlier but here we are oops i'm falling Ooh, we have this right here it's the almighty burn i got us these are sacred we got to save them all Oh my god, I swear, I hear a frog jumping around. I'm not kidding. There is a frog that had to have gotten loose. Well, I don't know where it is, because I don't. it's probably a green one, because it might be blending in. Where did it go? All right, I might be going crazy, but I, I swear to god I heard a frog. So, like, one of these days, I, we're probably going to find a stray frog around these parts, but I, I don't know where it went, because I don't hear it anymore, but I did hear it. I promise I heard it. So while we're over here, I wanted to show you guys, we did do a long play of the potato garden. We have the carrot garden, and we also have uh, the beetroots back here. Yeah, big and red. I also didn't know that beetroots make red dye. I don't know how, like, no one no one ex ever explained that to me. I don't know. That should have been uh, explained to me a long time ago. But let's go on back over here. We're probably just going to have to take out this big old tree right now. Head on down and collect us some future sticks to trade. Okay, this is why I brought the shears. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen ferns right next to you. That's nuts. This is Fernapalooza, man. Time to plug back in the grass where it needs to go to make this land look nice and flat. All right, I found the frog. I found this frog, and it's Shinbaba. What are you doing? Come on now, let's go. What are you doing? Get over here. I, uh, I, this, it's actually, it, the frog actually jumped way closer to the other frogs, which is very convenient for me. There's, there's just too many frogs here. This, we need to make this sanctuary, like, right now. Looks to me like there's a floating ghost vine, so we have to go to the very tippy top, and we have to break it. So, let's go up here, let's go right here, right now, and, wait, oops, I accidentally missed it, and now we're going, and we fall. Got another mini one right here. What do you think you're, oh, man, I'm falling again. What do you think you're doing, guy? Why are you being, like, why are you being like this? 
Actually, I think we're going to go in the uh, shape of a plus sign, which is going to be pretty cool. I think mm, it might be better if we end up going this way a little bit. Just keep walking back, and we'll see what ends up looking good. Keep going down. Now, what I really wanted to happen was if we just, I don't know, take the stone out a little bit more this way. I wanted there to be windows where if we, I don't know, let's make this about three thick on the bottom and three thick on the top sides over here then we can finish this off and actually see that we'll have big windows i kind of wanted three by three windows i might make them a little larger because now they're seeming a little bit small but if we had windows that look just like this we could actually have the frogs in here and then you could look at it from when we're swimming down in the ocean after some deliberation i thought that some single column windows right here would actually be better than uh, the big like three by three windows because that way we can see just large amounts of certain sections of this build from from far away i think it looks kind of nice you can get back here obviously you can't see because the scaffolding and the kelp is in the way uh but once we get this lit up actually we do have some sea pickles but we're probably gonna have to go make some more as far as lighting goes we're gonna get the lanterns up on each of these and you can probably also see that we have the ferns ferns all day every day wanted to go ahead and oops not that but i wanted to go ahead oh my god not that either but i really just wanted to go ahead and put these walls over here followed by the oak fence is going to slap these down and then you probably know what's coming next we're going to just drop these down right here wanted to slap a fern up here and then actually on the side we're going to start using the trap doors just to add a little bit more texture a little bit more color variation to the side and add some color to the lighting variation we are going to add some of these end rods vent not there not there i'm sure i sure i'm messing up a lot right now but Oh my god, there goes another one. The, uh, the end rods, actually, I think they add a nice texture here. Oh my god, I have, I think I've messed up like five of them, and there goes it. There it goes, bing and boom and bop, and I think we're done. Now as far as this front side goes, I kind of just wanted to add some of these over here. Just the walls kind of on the ground, because uh, they're not really big enough to have these end rods hanging down towards the ground. But on the back end, it's looking nice. As you can see, let's actually fly up. I did start putting in a little bit of the mangrove. Because uh, this is starting to look like a nice beefy build right here. It's looking pretty nice, pretty skeletal at the moment, though. I just started putting in some of the mangrove logs for the next level. I've made a bunch of apiaries before, but I have not made an apiary uh, to this scale. That's why I started off with the stone, and then we're going to move to a completely different move right now, which is the wood and the glass. First, I'm actually just going to get a nice little layer of the mangrove, and we're going to go up. On the inside, we're actually going to put a nice little layer of glass. I'm actually just going to bring this up maybe two or three tall. I'll actually, I'll go three tall, and then we'll decide on how actually tall this is going to go, because I'll, I'll have to go up with the mangrove stairs as well. Decorating the first layer of glass right from the strip mangrove log into the stair into the trap door we'll flip that guy up here flip this guy up here and actually i don't think we flipped these up yet but we will we'll go into that one into this one probably gonna have to go upside down stair or at least glass right there um just so that we can start to put a log up we'll go up like one two right there probably just strip that actually for sure strip that not even probably it definitely needs to be stripped but we're gonna walk through here and go boom boom probably get some fences bing bang boom biddly bop now we just need to start kind of towering up one by one with these little glass blocks here. Then I think we're just going to beef up the corners over here with uh, some of these nice little mangrove logs. Go ahead and strip these down and then we're going to place familiar blocks. We're going to go walls on pretty much every time we see a log up here on the roof. We're going to put a log, uh, oh, sorry, a wall into a fence and then probably, I don't know if we'll go into an end rod i'm not sure yet that might be too much lighting but for right now it is going to be kind of like that panda sanctuary where we go on the corners everything is stripped and then we go into a wall and then to a fence that was wrong that was definitely wrong don't don't be doing that that that's in the wrong spot now we can finally get this little flat portion done at the tippy top then we can actually start to decorate the top with uh the walls the fences we're gonna put the gates up here as well this is all gonna look uh mighty fine once we're gonna put the uh the stairs here too this is exactly what i did on the panda sanctuary as well but i really liked what we did on the roof with the decoration so i'm gonna go back on that same stuff we have some trap doors that we're gonna use here too i pretty much just covered this area up right here just to make it look like it has a little bit more uh cover from the sun and I brought myself some stone brick stairs to be able to come back up here. I think this, I don't know if this is tall enough actually, so let's go ahead and make this go up one more just in case. Then we will go ahead, I'm actually just going to make the roof go this way, and I'm not even going to like go up that high, I'm literally just going to use the stairs. Usually I use stair and plank, 
But right here is literally just gonna only be stairs. We'll probably put a lantern up here instead of using an end rod. All right, not looking too shabby. This is definitely a, an odd one, but I do really enjoy this because I, I know the frogs are going to have plenty of room. Actually, just plenty, plenty, plenty of room. Oh, wait, now that I'm flying up, I did realize that I did not put any fences up here. Like my grandpa used to always say, you can never have too many buttons down. I think the one thing that's missing from the tippy top is just a little bit of the potted plant action. And we've already used a lot of ferns, and I mean, I'd be over a stack of ferns. So I'm going to do the regular azaleas. I think I'm done using the flowering azaleas because every time I use those, a bees, like all the bees just start getting stuck in them. So I'm going to start using the regular azaleas um, just for right now, just to just until maybe that bug gets fixed. I don't know if it's a bug, but for some reason, bees just get stuck like in these potted plants when it's a flowering azalea. So regular azaleas for now, and that's all it has to be. I might actually, you know what? Start using some of these on the side. Like if we go, no, if we just go down like one, two, three, four, that's, uh, you know, that's kind of nice. And now I can actually fly out here because that little tippy toppy point right there, that needs, I think it needs a little something on it. And you guys know what that is. If I can, oh, and I missed, but uh, I'm talking about the cord slabs. These slabs are the only thing that I have been using as a flag for a very long time. So I'm going to go down here and I hop right there and go bam and it's done. And now for the interior, we have quite a bit of space under here. All the end draws look pretty cool up above on the ceiling. I like this a lot. This is a pretty sleek looking design, but yeah, now we can, I have vines growing on the wall, by the way, but now we can start to decorate. Obviously, lily pads are going to be going in here because, you know, frogs live here. So why, why would we not have lily pads? Also wanted to come through and actually just place some moss, bone meal this out so that we can get some different areas that look just you know just a little bit different probably moss it up right here too and actually that moss is probably going to spread outside but i like doing this just because it starts to make the uh, i don't everything i mean we have a lot of jungle grass it's very bright green but the the variability of the uh, the variation variability uh, i'm just choosing the wrong words here the variation between the different colors of green it's just it just makes it look nice and also we get some free azalea flowers too while we're at it and i already have the edge lit up with a lot of lanterns but i am going to go through and kind of just randomly place some of the glow berries just here and there just to give it a more of an overgrown look oh my god and okay so these guys just popped up and i just need to here's what i'm gonna do i have a bucket i'm gonna do this i need these guys to get just a little bit uh, these guys need to go away. These guys need to go away. Or what I could do is this. I could just make sure that they attack their own captain. Everybody shoot this way at me right here. Yeah, that's good. Everybody keep shooting. Let's go this way a little bit. Let's shoot one more time, but everybody just aim right at your captain. Come on, right here. Nice. Keep doing it. Then got hit. Sorry about that, guys. There's. Uh, I just don't. I don't know what else. You, I don't know what you're gonna be. At. Yeah, it's done. It's done. It's done. Thank you very much. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna boop you right there, and then I'm actually just gonna drink my milk to celebrate. While I'm out here, I realized I did need to actually fix the stairway up here. I uh, actually, let's go ahead and get out of the way, cow. We'll go over here. Boom, boom. We'll get that down there too. And then probably just get one more slab right here. And that's, uh, that's looking good right behind the chicken coop. Oh my God. I just found a little straggler. Wait, is that, is there more than one guy? No, it's just you. That's yeah. You know what? You're done. Yeah, absolutely done, sir. You may be missed. Now you're done. Next thing I wanted to do was hop in here and get some proper propagules, some proper propagules going here. So let's go. Do -do 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 -do. Can we get a nice little mangrove tree growing? It's not going to go right there. Maybe one near the water, actually. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, so dang. All right, I love this. Is ah, yes, right in the middle. Let's see if we can get at least one more. These uh, mangrove or these, yeah, these mangrove trees really just they go well. They make it look really swampy in here. Ooh, okay, so that's the second. Ooh, these are perfect. They go like right in. Yes, all right, so it's about time to move the frogs in. I'm probably going to, yeah, I have the sunflowers, the peonies, the lilacs, and the rose bushes. I'm going to plant a bunch of these in here. We need to just get a lot of color. Now for a little bit of extra color, we're just going to put some pumpkins around here, just, to, you know, just here and there. It's not, Halloween's over, but you can never, it's never too late for some pumpkins. Also going to hop on the other side, and we're going to put some melons in here. The frogs deserve all of the color possible, and you know what? And uh, with, with a little bit more, actually, let's put some melon right there. A little bit more color comes uh, a little bit of oxidaisy, a little bit of tulip action. So we're going to slap some oxidaisies all over. I don't know why, but I'm feeling like the frogs are just going to love oxidaisies, and they're going to love orange tulips. And let's see if we can maybe get an azalea tree going right here, and we can. This is perfect. Okay, so I feel like the frogs have plenty of space to jump around in here. Now we got a couple things here to finish this off. We got to get some corn flowers in here just because, you know, I, I, we need some blue. We don't have anything blue in here. And what is a, a swamp without an orchid? Literally the last orchid that I have. I have to go back to the swamp to get more because we 
or fresh out of orchids. I wanted to get some amethyst clusters around. I don't know. I, th I think they look cool and they'll brighten up the place. They bring a little bit of shimmer around and I don't know. Just I, I think at li almost anything looks just much nicer with a little bit of amethyst to bring a little bit of extra light out up here. I wanted to get some verdant lights uh, from the frog light farm and uh, put a little bit of flowering azalea bushes on top of them. And uh, that way we don't have anything spawning in here at all. I'm just going to start putting these in a little bit of random corners here and that's going to prevent any mobs from spawning. I think it's time to start taking some of these guys home. Let's, uh, oh my god, this is, this is going to be a little rough. Let's, uh, okay, let's take it all. Oh god, so many leads, so many leads. Okay, we gotta start picking them all back up. They're gonna start just jumping everywhere. Literally, okay, he's gonna try to escape. Let's pick you up. Let's pick all these guys up and just move as quickly as we can. All right, frogs, come on. Let's get you in here. All right, everybody, single file now. Let's go, get through. I can't get you through the glass. I gotta get you through the door single file one by one. Let's go, guys, come on, let's go. Single file now, everybody. Single file. The next group needs to get in here. Come on now. Let's go. Oh my god, the frogs are just jumping up. What am I holding on to? Where are these strings even going? My guy's out here using the lily pad already. This is awesome. The one the last thing I wanted to do to actually make this place look a lot better was kind of... I'm probably going to come down here and bone meal a lot of this, but I wanted to come down here and give the frogs and the tadpoles a little bit of air. Like when they're swimming around, I just wanted to look nice, nice and beautiful gonna hop in and bone meal up just a little bit we all we need to do is just have a little bit more grass down here that's all the frogs ever wanted just a little bit of grass a little bit of grass never hurt nobody we'll go over here just keep on bone mealing just keep on bone mealing and i'll probably just get up here and put the last guy right there so that we have some grass towards the top and we are all good we got so many frogs in here we have green frogs white I, I, it'd be you know what would be great if Minecraft actually added more colors of uh, frogs, that'd be amazing. If we had red frogs, like, you know, like, like rainbow, like tree frogs in the jungle, like in real life. There's so many different colored frogs in real life. And I wonder when they're going to add those. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it. Thank you so much for watching episode 11. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining on the live streams. Again, that is twitch.tv slash waxfraud. Thanks for joining the Patreon if you did. I really do appreciate everybody whose names come at the end of the episode. That's just all the patrons. So thanks again, guys. I really do appreciate you. And thanks to everybody who joined the Discord appreciate y'all man we have like 8500 people in the discord right now it's it is growing very large appreciate y'all man so much this frog sanctuary was one of the most fun builds that i have in this world right now and man this world is probably the most eh, probably yeah my my favorite minecraft world that i've ever worked on so far so this is great man this is awesome what a, what a great addition i'll see you guys uh, in a couple days man for episode 12 thank you guys for watching bye